I'm using my, uh, my phone to shoot this because my, uh, camera is broken at the moment, so, I, uh, this is my, my new TV, I got it, like, two weeks ago, it's the Samsung, the PND59 D8000, it's the 59-inch plasma, uh, probably not gonna really get, can't really get too close to it. But it's a pretty good TV. I really like it. Uh, as you can see, the really the only problem that I have with it is because I have the uh, the 6700K daylight bulbs. I mean, it is pretty pretty bright in my room. Uh, I do get a pretty bad reflection off of the television when the lights are on. I mean, you can pretty much see it. It almost looks like a mirror. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, t the TV other than that has been amazing. Uh, full 3D. Uh, everything I it uses my computer monitor, just because why not? When you have a 59-inch computer monitor, why not? I actually got the uh, the updated, the ultralight Samsung 3D glasses. These are these are much better, much much better than the standard uh, glasses that come in the 3D kit that they give you when when you buy them. I mean, the TV's beautiful. It's kind of weird in pictures and stuff like that. It doesn't look that big, but in, in comparison to, to my room, I mean, when you're in here and you see it in person, the thing's gigantic. And, uh, this is the remote that it comes with. It's like a full QWERTY keyboard and, uh, standard remote and it's backlit even though it's kind of bright in here can't really can't really see it the QWERTY side of it is not backlit and that's really the biggest disadvantage to this is it is really hard to see this uh when it's dark i mean i have a somewhat small room so if the tv's on and i'm watching television uh or anything i need to use it it's usually bright enough to where i can see it but in some instances where say you have the setup in a in a decent size of living room it's going to be hard to see if, if it's dark in there. These aren't backlit. This side is backlit, though. The remote's all right. It's kind of clunky, but you get, you get used to it. But, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know if I have anything. The TV's hooked up. I mean, if, if the cable box is on. Virtual tour of the new office that I rented you. You rented me an office? But the picture quality is amazing. Turn the volume down. One of the things about this is it's actually really loud, too, uh, compared to my old TV. I, I have it in the hallway, but uh, my, I had an older Samsung uh, LNB40A550, and uh, it, I had the volume on, like, 40 most of the time, and it wasn't really loud. That was just a comfortable volume. This had a... Uh, is that Abraham Lincoln? Yep. This from I had, like, 14, oh, 15 is just as loud as the other TV was in 40, and then it only went up to 60. This goes up to, I believe, 60. I actually haven't turned it up past, like, 20, I think. I don't know how high this goes up. 50, maybe 60, I don't know. But it, it, it's loud. It's really, really loud. You know. Crappy computer down there. I, I created, uh, I have another room downstairs. If you watch one of the computer videos uh, that I have set up, I have a radio room downstairs. I actually moved all my computers and everything, uh, for the exception of uh, the clunker, uh, all down there. And I have that set up. And then I was going to use the other, the 42 inch, uh, or 40 inch TV that I, that was just replaced. And I was going to use that as a monitor down there. And then I got, got those. I got two Samsung 226Bs. Uh, they were really, really good monitors when they came out. And those are my actually my uh, two Pro. It's the Pro Tools desk, Pro Tools desktop and my MacBook Pro laptop. The battery conked out on my laptop, and uh, I need to replace it. But yeah, amazing television, amazing. I love this thing. Short of like I said, the reflective issues that I have on I mean, you can still see it with the TV on. Let me turn the light off.
watch. I'm going to get in trouble for posting this because it's recording a television show. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. I mean, there's the remote. You can't see it at all. You know, it's backlit like that. I don't have a backlit. Oh, that's probably because I'm using a shitty camera. But, I mean, that's backlit. You can barely see it like that, but it is pretty bright enough to see. The other side isn't. So, that's really a, a disadvantage, too. But, yeah. TV's uh, amazing. I love it. It was definitely a really good investment. I'm happy with it. Uh, 3D quality on it is amazing. Sound quality on it is actually amazing. I don't really have a good stereo in here. I have an older radio uh, with acoustic research AR91 speakers. And then, like, you know, my PC speakers are all, all actually hooked up. Little subs down there. But yeah, that was it. Excellent television. I would definitely recommend picking one up if you have the money. I think the TV cost me uh, out the door after taxes. It was like $2,700, $2, you know, with the extra pair of glasses and everything else. And. You know, it was like $3,000 total. That's the Blu-ray player came with. with a bunch of uh, e-liquid for my e-cig sitting in front of it. But I can't really see it. Oh, and if someone's wondering, no, that is... It's a refill syringe for uh, taking liquid out of the big bottles and, uh, you know, transferring to other bottles. My friend asked me the other day, he was like, why do you have a needle? I'm like, it's not. It's just a syringe to transfer things. My 360 PS3. We. My MacBook. My e -cig. Well, that's about it kind of dragging on with uh, no point. So, alright, later.